Finally, let's talk about ending a sensor session. After completing this step, you will have learned the sensor expiration prompts, learned how to remove the sensor and transmitter from your body, learned how to remove the transmitter from the sensor pod. You must remove the sensor and transmitter from your body by peeling both of them off together. Do not try to detach the transmitter from the sensor pod before removing both the transmitter and sensor from your body. At the end of your first sensor session, you may want to come back to this step of the tutorial and review it again before moving forward. The sensor automatically shuts off after seven days. The receiver will alert you before this happens. When you see this screen, it's time to remove your sensor and transmitter. To remove your sensor and transmitter, keep the sensor and transmitter attached to each other and peel the sensor pod from your body, similar to removing a bandage. The sensor and transmitter need to be removed together. Do not remove the transmitter from the sensor pod prior to removing the sensor from your body. Once you've removed the sensor pod and transmitter from your body, you will need to take the transmitter out of the sensor pod. You can do this manually or by using the safety lock. If you did not keep the safety lock, you can use your fingers to spread out the back tabs of the sensor pod. The transmitter will then pop out. To use the safety lock to remove the transmitter, insert the jagged edges of the safety lock so they hug the transmitter wings in the sensor pod. Press the safety lock down until you cannot press any more, then pull up. The transmitter will pop out of the sensor base. Do not throw away your transmitter. However, you will throw away your sensor. You can now insert a new sensor and start a new sensor session.